In this video, we will learn how to fetch data with server components. You should know that the RSE architecture in the app router introduces support for async and await keywords in server components. This allows you to use the familiar JavaScript await syntax by defining your component as an asynchronous function. This is the basis for data fetching in server components. Let's understand better with an example. For this demo, we will rely on JSON placeholder for a mock API. First, visit jsonplaceholder.typeycode.com, scroll down to Resources, and select the Users route. You will see the URL slash users, which returns a JSON array of 10 users with different properties. We will fetch this list and display each user's name, username, email, and phone number fields on a Next.js page. Let's head back to VS Code and get started. In our project, within the source folder, within the app folder, create a new file, users slash page.tsx. So within the users folder, a new file, page.tsx. Here, I'm going to use the Pieces Explorer extension to insert a Next.js page component. Rename the component to users page and add the async keyword since server components support asynchronous operations. Now, fetching the user's data is straightforward. Make a GET request to the user's endpoint using the fetch API. So const response is equal to await fetch. And for the URL, we're going to copy the URL from JSON placeholder slash users and paste it. Next, const users is equal to await response.json. Finally, console log users. On saving the file, and navigating to localhost 3000 slash users, which is our Next.js application. You should see the heading users page. And in the terminal, you will see the list of users. Our data fetching is successful. The next step is to bind this data to the user interface. Let's start by defining the user type. So type user, and we will only bind the properties that you see here. ID, name, username, email, and phone. For the JSX, I'll paste the code directly. It is a basic React component with Tailwind CSS styling. If you're not familiar with Tailwind, focus more on the functionality rather than the styling specifics. You can see we have a grid of two columns and we map over the list of users where each user is defined by the user type. We specify the key prop, user.id, and we render the user's name, username, email, and phone number. The classes are primarily for styling, so I wouldn't worry too much about achieving this exact layout and UI. If we save the code and head to the browser, you should see the list of 10 users displayed in two columns as we have specified. You will see the user's name, username, email, and phone number. As you can see, fetching data with server components is as straightforward as using async await keywords with the fetch API. There's no need for use state and use effect hooks nor dealing with all the different states that come along with it. Speaking of states, you might be wondering how would we handle loading and error states when fetching in server components? Let's take a look at that in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.